Hey, we're live. What's up? Guess what, everybody? It's your boy. I don't know who else you expected, but it's me, Kyle. I'm going to be continuing with my quest to explain to you why I love my three favorite Sony lenses. And today it is the ultra wide. It is the 16 to 35 F 2.8 G master lens from Sony native pride, native lenses, go native hashtag all the above. Yes. It's going to be dope. It's going to be sick. We're going to hang out together. We're going to chat shit. We're going to talk some stories. Just going to have a good time. Yes. Yes. Let's give it some time for everybody to join in. If you are watching this after the stream in the review, whatever it's called, the upload, the video, video of the day, that's the Twitch thing. I challenge you to join me live next time in person. That's right. Live. Because what that means is you get to join the chat and in the chat, I will be reading everything you send to me and I'll be responding to everything. So if you just want to come hang out, tell some stories, I'm here to, I'm here for you. <laughs> I am here for you. I'm here to listen. I'm here to answer. I'm here to give advice. I'm here to show you how I edit. I'm here to just kick it. So join the chat. Tell me what's going on in your world. And if you're not here live in person and you're watching this afterwards, join me live next time. It's going to be sick. It's always a good time. Always a good time. So this stream is sponsored by Sony. Yes, this includes product placement. The brand believes in me as much as I believe in them. And this is what makes it such a good partnership. This is the 16 to 35 millimeter F 2.8, probably my most used lens. I use this thing maybe 90% of the time. Now I'm shooting. I like what this lens does. I like what it stands for. I don't know if any of that was in focus. <laughs> if the sound is off, if the video's off, if the music's off, let me know. Um, I will fix it immediately. This lens does everything. It's wide enough for landscapes. It's tight enough for uh, portraits. It's tight enough to shoot action. I'm going to show you here in a second. I've got some car photos. I've got some ski photos. I've got some adventure photos. We're going to go through some of the, some of my favorite photos that I've taken with this lens recently. Hopefully some uh, new stuff that you guys haven't seen. Actually, I'm fairly certain you haven't seen it because some of it I haven't seen either. I found a picture. I dug up a picture that I haven't seen yet. Here, I'll give you a little taste. Watch this. Look, how about this? Boom. Look at that, huh? Porsche. Didn't expect that. <laughs> yes, we're going to be editing that photo and we're going to be editing two more, three more. Maybe if we have time, it's going to be sweet. It's going to be a good time. So let's just get into editing. How about that, huh? Let's just get into it. This is my comeback tour. This is the streams are coming back. This is I am gaining your trust again because I have spent too much time away from the stream. So let's go into develop. Let's correct because it is a wide lens. This was shot at 35 mil F 11. So pretty, uh, pretty tight, pretty in focus. We are just next to the track, so we couldn't get too much closer to the car. So I try to keep it a little bit tight. 35 millimeter as zoomed in as it gets. I'm going to enable corrections because there's always some sort of little, little characteristics that maybe we want to add later that the lens offers uh, straight out of the box. So let's do that. Now straight off the bat, the photo is very blue. Maybe make it a little less blue, darken some of the blues just to sort of give me an idea of what it's going to look like afterwards. I think that's pretty cool. Let's add some contrast. Let's get some, uh, Let's get some of these highlights going. Let's get it going. What's up? If you're watching, drop a line in the chat. Let me know how your day is going. I will reply to everything you write there. How about that? Huh? Everything. Let's de. Ooh. If we go the opposite. If so if we dehaze, we get a lot of punch. But if we go the opposite way, it's a little bit brighter. What do we want? What do you think? Let's dehaze a bit. Let's get a little bit of punch in there. Let's just go to an even eight. It's a good number. 
Shadows, we'll save some of that because I think the car has uh, some pretty cool lines on it that kind of emphasize the shape of the car. This is a 991, dare I say 991.2? No, it's a 991. It's a 911, Porsche 911, 991. Uh, Carrera of some sort, two, four, who knows? Very fast. This was shot at a uh, track day at Rootskogen with the uh, Porsche Center Oscar and bottom. A lot of really cool stuff, a lot of really loud cars. This was uh, one of the stands out, pretty cool. Roger, what? No one here? Guess what, Roger? You're here. Happy to have you. <laughs> Roger, the uh, views are a little bit uh, slow. Mostly because I have just started streaming again. I need to get back into it, back into the groove, figure out when people are available to watch the streams, figure out when I should be streaming. So let's go there. Blue's still a little bit. What if we made it really warm? What happens? I think it's on daylight white balance. It was a very warm day. Warmth. Uh, the tint maybe makes it a little bit too obvious. Oops. I accidentally pressed full screen. My bad. A little too much weight in the fingers. What do you think, Roger? When is the perfect time for me to start streaming for you? Let's go back to where it was. Like, When's the perfect time? When can I get the most attention? Are people still at work? Maybe that's an issue. Maybe I got to reach out to communities outside of my own Instagram. How about that, huh? Maybe you guys got to start sharing. How about that? Um, sun is coming from right here, directly above. You will see that if I put a gradient filter, and drop the exposure. Uh, maybe you won't see it too much. You see a little flare. It's kind of cool. I like that. I like, I think it's too much, but I like what it's doing. Black and white, I think this photo could be cool as well. So let's see, before and after, just to gauge where we are currently. Okay, okay, black and white. Yo, black and white, this is pretty tight. <laughs> we'll come back to that later. I promise, we'll come back to that later. Um, I think there's a little too much detail in the guardrail. I'm gonna darken that out a bit. It's meant to frame the photo a bit to push your eyes towards the subject, but I think it takes a little too much attention. Maybe a little too blue. How about that, huh? What do we think? Roger says, oh, the YouTube algorithm probably killed your flow. Yeah, I got to get consistency back. I agree with that. A few days more and numbers will rise. And maybe seven is better for the viewers. You know what? Sure. I agree with that. Niels says, make it a fake sunset. <laughs> I'm into that, Niels. Maybe we can play with the sky replacement tool in Photoshop. Have you guys played with that sky replacement? It's a little bit... Uh, a little bit too much <laughs> but it's dope when it works you can fool anyone i don't know if i want to play too much with that i just heard an engine outside my window everybody else get that feeling when you hear an engine outside the window you have to go run and see what car it is you know what let's not give it too much color let's just um play with it as is i'm gonna save some of the uh details here in the car so this was shot so wide that as i was panning the end of the car and the front of the car are moving at two different speeds compared to the speed of the camera, which ends up making it blur. At one of the ends, you have to sacrifice one of the ends. It is very hard to control which one. This is more of a spray and pray kind of operation. We were shooting a lot. I actually have a video coming out from that day, kind of describing my methods, describing how I found the shots. Look at the rims. That's authentic. You can tell it's authentic blur when the brake calipers are still, but the rims are moving. That is how you know. There you go. Now you can tell. Roger says, sky replacement. When it works, it is actually pretty good. But I try to get it in cam. You know what? We should all try to get it in cam. You're the best of us, Roger. You are the best of us. And when it does work, it is pretty impressive. I don't like that the car is blue. I know the car is black, so let's just try to... Bring it back to black. Uh-oh, I had heavy fingers. I hit full screen again. It doesn't look like it did anything. Not yet. Okay, cool. We're good. We're in the clear. We're in the clear. 
It's going to be hard to get rid of some of the saturation in the car because I don't really want to paint all of the car. So let's just see, uh, let's just see how far we can go. Let's go around once again, trying to keep the car. We're getting a little bit of spillover. I'll fix that. I'll erase that brush. Let's back up. Just see where we're at. Car stands out a bit more. I think it has a bit of a problem with the clarity. I'll drop the clarity. What happens? We'll never know. We'll never know. I might be having a slow computer day. You know what? I'm going to leave the dehaze up a bit. It kind of brings back a lot of the punch that was in the car. But um, I was scared it was going to like make it too punchy. It looks okay. So let's erase the stuff we don't want. Let's hope auto mask does its job because I'm feeling pretty uh, lazy today. <laughs> I don't want to go through and do this perfectly. Roger, will you be coming to Porsche Center Oscar Bottom on Friday to check out the new Taycan? What do you think? Are you excited about that car? I am. I think that's the way the Taycan was meant to be. I think it's pretty sick, pretty dope. <laughs> you see how slow my computer's being? I'm just trying to erase some of the brushes that I don't want, the brush strokes, because I think the car got hit too much, but it's, it's taking some time. When is that on Friday? I don't know exactly when it is. Um, I wish I did, but I know there is one tech on Cross Turismo making its rounds in Norway. I don't know if it's a public thing, actually, come to think of it. I have no idea. But uh, I'm pretty excited to see the car. I think it's going to be sick. Okay, let's keep it there. I think some of the reds are a little bit too uh, purpley. Mostly the red and the taillight in the back here. Let's just leave it there. Okay, so it's going to take a second to open... Uh, to open our boy Photoshop. So let's just hang out for a sec. Let's just hang out for a sec. I'm going to put on full screen. What's going on in your guys' world? How's it going? There's a lot more car photography coming up. This weekend in particular is going to be a big one. So if you're into car photography, be prepared because it's going to be sick. There's going to be a lot of Porsche stuff. There's going to be a lot of cool stuff. Maybe the Tycon Cross Turismo is related. Who knows? Who knows? I need to see it up close, but yeah, I really like the looks of it. I agree, man. I think it looks good. I think it looks good. I think it's giving me kind of the same vibes that the uh, Sport Turismo. Whoops. <laughs> that the Sport Turismo gave the um, the Panamera. I think the Panamera struggled before they introduced the uh, shooting brake version. If you can call it that, with this hatchback version, shooting brake version. Let's get rid of this little thing here. I'm just going to keep the patch tool open, go around it. And let's match it up with here. See what happens. That's pretty close. Close, but no cigar. Let's try that. And if I have to, I will go in with the um, stone and the clone stamp and do it manually. And I might have to. So let's do that. Oops. Too much, maybe. Let's take some from down here. That's looking good enough. Nobody's going to see that. Nobody's going to see that. I think that cross resume is going to sell like crazy in Norway. I think it's going to be insane. I think they're going to break records. Um, one thing I do want to do is kind of fade out the background a bit, like some of the stuff way out here, because I think it's um, it doesn't have enough direction in the photo. So I'm going to take a sampler, take a sample of a very light blue, and then just drop in some haze. 
push it all the way up to the car just so it's sort of like even. It was a hot day. It's believable, right? It was hazy. Let's screen blend it to get rid of some of that color. And then we'll drop it to about 40%. 40, 40 How about that? Then what we'll do to put some more emphasis back on the car is we will mask the car out. We'll just brush back the, brush the car back in, brush back the car. This is a process. Let's just uh, get sloppy with it. Look at how happy this guy is. This dude's doing 200 kilometers an hour in his super sweet 991. I bet he's having the best day ever. <laughs> it was the best day ever. That was a blast. Little fun fact, I got to drive the track. I was driving in a Panamera, the 4S e-hybrid. And there was a red 992 in front of me and I passed him like he was moving. That's right. <laughs> little, uh, little boastful, but hey, it happens. So before, after, let's give it some color. We'll go with the See what midnight green looks like. Midnight green, by the way, is the eagle's color. That's why I named it that. It's a pretty good color. <laughs> I'm into it. Soft light blend, as usual. It's a little too uh, dramatic, too harsh. I like the, I feel like it gives the photo more contrast. I think we're in a good place. I like that. I'm okay with that. Let's save it and go back into Lightroom. Saving 30%. Saving 50% almost. We're doing it. We're doing it. So I have a big stream. This is a pretty good chance to uh, shout out my stream that I plan on Monday. Monday the 15th, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I have a stream with photo.no on their channel. We are going to be live streaming, shooting a 992 Turbo S inside the Porsche Oscar and bottom garage. Pretty cool spot. Looks pretty cool. And we're going to stream the entire process start to finish. I'm pretty excited. Instead of brushing the car, I'm just going to add, because I want it to be a little bit brighter compared to where it is. I also want some of the details to stand out a bit. So I'm just going to give it a radial gradient just here. That'll bring up the surrounding areas, but I think it's uh, blends. Okay. Let's give it some D haze, give it some punch before and after that's okay with me. Let's um, add some vignetting back in just to see what it looks like. I think it might be better without it though. It's a little too obvious with it. It's a little too obvious. Let's see, without and with. Yeah, let's stick to that. Black and white, let's see what it looks like. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. I think it'd be cool if you really darkened out the sky. So let's try that. Roger, I just realized. <laughs> oh, no. Oh no, how long was that like that? I think it was stuck on my face for so long. Poor guys, everybody, I'm so sorry, man. I was editing, I was narrating the whole process. <laughs> and all you guys could see was my face. My bad, my bad, let's bring it back to color. Oh my God, I gotta keep an eye on the stream. Make sure that doesn't happen. The color, black and white. I like black and white, I like the color. I'm going to save both. So what I'm going to do is uh, go back to color, create a virtual copy. A few minutes. Oh, man. Ross, are you making pancakes? I'm jealous, man. I want pancakes. Let's take this uh, second copy we just made, make it black and white. And let's add that gradient that I was talking about. Now you can actually see what I'm talking about. 
just bring down the sky, darken it, make the eyes go straight to the car. If we have some dehaze, then you end up seeing this, uh, these flares, flares, lens flares a little bit better. I think that's a cool place to be. So there we go. Now we got a black and white and we got a color. Boom. Boom. One photo down. Easy. This photo, once again, shot on Sony. I'm going to make it full, full face again. There we go. Shot on the Sony 16 to 35 F 2.8 G master lens. It's a monster. It is beautiful. I love this lens. I use it 90% of the time. I think it's a great lens. It's a great lens. I'm stoked to be using it and you get cool shots like this, which makes it even cooler. It's got to move a desktop around for a sec. There we go. We're back. We're back. So next photo. Next photo, adventure. There it is. How about that? What do you guys think of the music? It is copyright free. I apologize for uh, it not being good. <laughs> is it loud enough? Is it artsy enough? Does it suit the style? That's good to hear. So this photo shot in Rago. Rago? Rago how do you pronounce it? In Northern Norway. Pretty rad. <clears throat> Sorry, pretty rad spot. Little known, one of Norway's youngest national parks. I think it's beautiful. Very moody weather. It's the north of Norway, so you never know what you're going to get with the weather. This is where we're starting. So let's start by getting rid of some of the vignetting because it was shot at f6.3. There's probably some. Yeah, not too much. That's nice. And then... Uh, I like that it's cold. I'm not going to mess with the temperature. I'm just going to mess with some of the um, easy to change stuff. Let's uh, get some shadows back. I think this green is a little bit distracting. Green sometimes registers a yellow. So let's, let's desaturate it a bit. Take the greens down. Make them a bit more blue. What happens then? I'm cool with that. I'm into it. What do you guys think? What about the oranges? The oranges can stay, maybe. I think the oranges are cool. I'm into it. Roger, what kind of pancakes are you making, man? I went in on these pancakes. I'm all about that life. <laughs> How's the music? Is it loud enough? I can go louder. Sounds okay in my headphones. Sounds decent. Um, so now we just play with the uh, colors. Let's take some of the blues down. We'll add those back in later in a more rich and vibrant manner. Something a little bit more suited to the photo. I kind of like the brightness. I'm okay with the dehaze. This is, I mean, this is what the dehaze button was meant for. There's a lot of haze going on in this photo. I don't want to do too much because I like I like that it's soft. Clarity, I think, just kills it as well. There we go. That's where we'll get our, con our contrast. Right here in the blacks. Let's do that. And vignetting we'll throw in afterwards. For now, let's uh, take it to Photoshop. How are we doing on battery life? We're looking good. We're at 100%. That's a good place to be. How about that? <laughs> How about that? So, here we are. Photoshop. Music is okay. Pancakes, bacon, and maple syrup. What the hell? Did you just wake up, man? <laughs> it's 530. <laughs> Damn, that sounds delicious, though. Might have to get in on that later. Blue steel, favorite color, soft light blend. I'm just going to take it down a bit in opacity. That looks okay. I'm okay with that. That's a good place to be. So we're going to save it. I don't think there's too much more that I want to do. 
Fun fact, on the other side of this left side of the photo is a waterfall at 140 vertical meters. Roger needed something fast after work. Yeah, man, the snack in between work and dinner is key. Pancakes are a pretty solid snack. I'm not going to lie. I'm into that. That is key. I'm getting hungry again now. Just started working out again. Gyms are open for rehabilitation purposes. And I'm a broken man. So I need to be rehabbed, apparently. <laughs> we'll put in some uh, vignetting to sort of pull the eyes into the center of the photo. Although it would be pretty clean without... I think it's pretty clean without. So I'm going to instead just put a gradient in, put some punch in that gradient from the bottom up. There we go. Let's do that. I'm just going to take a little bit out of it. Before, after. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're talking. What happens if I put a gradient in the sky? Does it sort of ruin everything? Keep it clean. Yes. Agreed. Agreed. No vignette. Leave it clean. I trust your opinion when it comes to this. You're the king of blue hues, Roger. But I will try to darken the sky a bit. Just a little bit. Just so it pushes your eyes closer to the center. And maybe put a huge... Ah, just a little bit more focus around the subject. Too much, too much. A little bit less. There we go. Nice. How about that? I'm into it. That's it. That's a good place to be. Let's look at the before. So here is the before. And here is the after. I'm into that. I think that's dope. I'm about it. And now that we're in between photos, I'm going to remind you this stream is sponsored by Sony. Let me go full face. There you go. Sponsored by Sony. I'm going through some of my favorite tools of the trade. And one of them is this 16 to 35 millimeter F 2.8 G master lens. Beautiful lens. Stays on my camera about 90% of the time. I love this thing. I use it for everything. It is a workhorse. It is a monster. And it is a do-all. It is wide enough to shoot landscapes. It's tight enough to shoot portraits. Big fan of this lens. And all the photos that I'm editing today were taken with that lens. So, with that said, let's go back to the editing. Let's see. Next photo. You know what? We might be able to just copy paste the settings to the next photo. So let's go to, oops, I was on the wrong screen there. So let's go to here, copy. Here's the next photo. Let's paste, see what happens. Pretty clean start. Good start. Proud of that. I'm happy with that start. Look at the colors, such cool colors in the forest. Let's, I like the oranges. Let's keep the oranges in. It's a good place to be. Oops. <laughs> Hopefully I'm still streaming. Yep. There we go. I accidentally left the stream for a second. My bad. One swipe of the finger and everything goes south. But it looks like we're still streaming. Thank you guys for sticking with me. Keeping these colors. Are there any reds in the photo? I'm not so sure. I don't think so. A little bit. I'm not going to play with them. I'm going to bring closer to the oranges, maybe, if anything. Just leave them there. Yellows, yeah. I kind of want just three colors. I want green, orange, and blue. So let's keep the yellows uh, at a minimum. Maybe brighten it to give some more texture to the rocks there in the corner down here. So here, should we throw some, yeah, a little bit of clarity just to get it bumping a bit. And let's bring in the sky a little bit just to see what happens. So if I drop the saturation, add dehaze to get rid of some of the haze in the sky. 
What happens? It's close. There we go. I'm okay with... Ah, you know what? It was kind of cool white, though. What do you think, Roger? I might keep it... Uh, I might keep it clean. Keep it bright. Let's do that. Before and after. Pretty good place to be. I'm okay with that. And then... I want some more color in the river. What I can do and just trust that the auto mask is going to work is go through brushes in Lightroom. But that might kill my computer. Let's push the flow up a bit. If we just brush down here as a little sample, that's, uh, that's not so bad. Not so bad. Maybe a little too obvious for now. And then let's just brush in the whole river. Oh, heavy fingers accidentally hit F. <laughs> oh no. It's huge. I've confused my computer. There we go. We're back. We're back. Keep it white or make it super moody with darkening in the clouds. Yeah, it's really either or, isn't it? can't just go somewhere in between. It has to be 100% in one direction or another. I agree with you. Um, so let's just uh, finish off the river with some of this color. Oof. Color's coming in very hot on the river up here at the top. I think it's hitting a little too much of the sand. Let's zoom in, erase. Just gonna get rid of some of this over here because I think it's a bit too much. I wish you could move around while you're zoomed in. Why can't you do that? Bet you can actually. There you go, bring back the sand. This little island shouldn't be blue. Sand once again, come back to me, there we go. A little bit of sand up here. This doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be good enough for our purposes. Let's keep it there. It might be too much blue up here. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to erase a bit of it. Hold space bar to move around. Roger. You've taught me something that I've wanted to know for years. Let's try that. Only spit. Oh my God, Roger. How did you know that? Who taught you that? <laughs> I cannot believe I didn't know that. I've gone years, years without knowing that. That's insane. You can hold space bar when you're zoomed in and brushing so you can move around the photo. That's, oh my God, you saved me so much time in the future. I'm okay with that. Let's uh, take it in the Photoshop. It's going to take a second. Hang in there. Everybody who's just joined, welcome to the party. Happy to have you here. Join the chat. Let me know what's going on in your world. Hit me up, as they say. We're just editing some pictures, talking about some gear, having a good time. If you got a story you want to share about photography, life, your work day, let me hear it. I'm all about it. I have to admit, it took some time before you figured it out yourself. <laughs> Roger, you and I were in the same position, man. Let's go Blue Steel, just to keep it on brand. Just to keep it on brand. It's going to darken the photo a bit. Let's start at zero and work our way up so we know what we're doing. Might be too dramatic. Might be too much. What do you guys think? Is the photo too blue? The photo might be cooler just without it, you know? In which case, let's get out of Photoshop. Let's go back here. One thing we can do is put some shadows with the new uh, color grading feature. We can put some color back in the shadows. 
I don't know though. I just, I don't know if I want to play with it. I want to just keep the photo clean. Maybe a little bit. So it should be a little more green or a little bit. Yeah, let's lean towards the green. And then let's add some, what happens if we add some, uh, some vignetting? There we go. That's a pretty moody, pretty moody addition. What do we think about that? That's an okay place to be. I think before, after much moodier photo matches the mood, if you will. I'm okay with that. Just as a quick edit, I'm good with that. Pretty simple. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I'm going to go full screen and I'm going to chat directly to you. How's it going? My name is Kyle Meyer. This stream is sponsored by Sony, Sony Alpha Cameras. I'm going through some of my favorite tools of the trade this week. Today is the 16 to 35 F 2.8 G master lens from Sony monster. All the photos that I'm editing today were taken with that lens. And with that, let's get back to the photos. Let's get back to the photos. Let's see. Should we do a ski photo? Look at this, huh? Dramatic action, fast turns, lots of snow. Good times. This was shot in Soisen. Soisen, awesome ski resort. If you weren't here yesterday, uh, it's a ski resort just down the street from Hempstead Hall. So if the snow at Hempstead Hall isn't up to par or there's too many people, go to Soisen, bring your skins, go hiking. You won't regret it. It's a very good time. This photo was shot at 16 millimeters as wide as the lens goes. It was shot at F8. At F8, you get a lot of detail. One thing you get is the starburst. When you shoot that high of an aperture, and you shoot that dark, you get a pretty cool starburst. I like it. You get a lot of uh, sharpness out of the lens. The lens is very sharp, so why not? Let's enable some corrections. And let's get to editing. So first, the skier is too dark. That's Kai Zacherson. I'm just going to bump up the whole photo and drop the highlights to save some of that detail in the shadows and then also bump the shadows a bit. So that gives us a flatter image to start working with. Pretty good place to start. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just watching, remember you can hang out in the chat, type anything in the chat, and I will read it and respond to it within reason. Within reason, don't test me. <laughs> a little bit of clarity just to get things popping. Oops, accidentally pressed F again. I got such a heavy F finger. It's too much. So I'm okay with that. You can accomplish a lot by playing with the blues. I think the blues are too much at the moment. So let's go down to 35 and let's bring some warmth back into the blues. One new, one thing you can do to bring warmth black. In, the, the, the. <laughs> one thing you can do to bring warmth back into the blues is take out all the purples because there's always some purple in the blues. Roger says, how is the Defender? If you guys didn't know, I just bought a Defender recently, a big Land Rover. It's looking pretty good. The final parts are on their way. I forgot to pay for shipping, so they've been stuck in the UK for a while. But I have now, and they're on their way. So hopefully next week, the Defender is going to be perfect and ready to show to the world in its final form. Yeah. Final form. Um, I'm going to use a radial... Filter. Maybe I'll take some photos and edit the Defender photos on the stream. I love that. That'd be pretty cool. I'm proud of that car. Oop, I forgot about the saturation. So let's save the shadows a bit on the skier. I'm going to try to make it as big as possible so I can give it a little bit more of a natural blend into the rest of the photo. So this way you can't tell too much that this is much lighter than this over here. And then I'm just going to keep bumping the shadows until I'm happy. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. No more, no less. The Defender is a great car, man. It's so usable. It's so usable. You do whatever you want to that car. It can handle it. Which is great when you're not that good at driving. <laughs> I'm going to erase the sky. So you have some more contrast between the skier and the sky. Just so the line of snow that is kicking up makes more of a difference. 
I think that's pretty good. Let's look at some before and after just to make sure we're on the right path. Oops, that was fast. So before, after, and we are. We are on the right path. How about that? Kind of want it to be a little more uh, warm in the blues. And to do that, I'm going to push the slider, the hue slider on the blues down this way. And usually if you're fixing that, you got to fix all the other things close to blue just so they don't stand out. You don't get too much color banding. That's an issue. An issue we can avoid, so we're going to. And we can also play with the shadows. Although I think that fades the photo too much. What about the midtones? I think that's uh, I think that's uh, barking up the wrong tree here. So let's see. Do we want more punch in the snow? I think we do. So I'm going to get the brush. I'm going to add some contrast, some clarity. Drop the saturation slider. And I'm just going to tap it once up here because I only want definition in this band of snow. I'm going to tap up here. And then I'm going to hold shift and tap down here at the bottom. And hopefully, yes, and it has. I might do the same thing. This time start from the bottom, do it again. Hopefully we get a bit more out of that. Not too much. So let's just go overkill just to see what happens. Oh, you know what? That might not be that overkill. I do want to erase some of the definition on the skier, on Kai. Kai Zacherson, by the way. Legend in the ski industry. Super talented dude. Runs a tight ship up there in, uh, in Soisen. And is the king of finding powder where you don't expect to find it. Let's get some of the water. Mmm. It's hard to talk for uh, 42 minutes straight without drinking water. It's not easy. I'm cool with that. I'm happy with where that is. I'm going to add a gradient in the sky to darken the sky a bit. Push some of the uh, focus down towards sky. I'm just going to go straight down. There's a lot of banging happening on the upside of that. <laughs> no worries. No worries. Cool. So there we go. Now we got a lot more focus uh, on the center of the photo. And I'm just going to make sure that darkening doesn't hit the snow or Kai too much. And to do that, I'm going to do the same trick. Click once, hold shift and click again. And hopefully that will erase everything that shouldn't be affected by it. Uh oh, the beach ball of death. Oh no, that's not a good sign. There we go. Okay, it happened a little bit late. So hopefully here in one second it'll catch up and it'll do this spot. There we go. All right, cool. Cool, I'm cool with that. So before and after. Maybe give some direction to the light down here in the bottom. Just a little bit. Not too much. Bring all these sliders back to zero. There we go. There we go. Now one thing I could do is uh, add back in the vignetting. I'm not so sure since we added all those gradients, I'm not so sure that's necessary. Let's see. How you guys doing out there? Everybody good? Before and after. I like it better without it. So double click that, bring it back to zero. And let's uh let's call that one a success. I'm okay with that. I think the backpack could be a little more yellow. Let's play with that. All right, super yellow. There it is. There it is. How about that? Pretty cool. Solomon skis. Next year's QST. If you're a skier, these are the QST 98s. They're a blast. I use the 112s because I'm a big boy. 
Chunky boys need chunky skis. This is a lifestyle. And this, I think, is a decent place to leave this photo. I'm okay with it. I think this color here, the aqua color or cyan, like, do they call it aqua? I think could match a bit better. So I'm just going to move that slider up. And Lightroom is being slow today. Classic. Whenever I need it. Always slow. Let's just leave it on 60 and just hope for the best. Whatever. Oh my God, it's not going to 60. Okay. You know what? 62. There we go. So there's our photo. We'll leave it at that. It's a lot of contrast, a lot of punch. I think it's a fun photo. It's a good place to be. So let's uh, let's recap. Let's see where we've come. We started with this photo. The, this this photo, there it is. This is the before in two seconds. That's where we started. Shot on the A7R3. Once again, shot on the 16 to 35 f 2.8 G Master lens from Sony. Go native. <laughs> and after editing, the photo ended up looking something like this. I think it's pretty cool, pretty fast, shot with a pan, super fun photo. It was really hot that day. <laughs> it was a super fun day. And then I also made it black and white just to see, kind of like it. I think it's got a lot of punch. I think it's cool. It's fun. Second photo was this one. This is the before, if I'm not mistaken. And then the after editing. Not too much. I liked how soft the photo was. I wanted to keep it that way. So that's what we ended up with. We kept it soft. We kept it easy. Kept it breezy. And then we copy pasted the editing onto this one. Kept that one pretty soft as well. Added a bit more punch maybe in the trees. I think it's pretty good. I'm happy with it. And then the final photo is this one. Once again, before, a little bit dark, and then after. Pretty good. I'm happy with that. There was one photo, one more. What do you think? Should we edit it? Maybe do a quick one? Let's do it. Speed round. Speed round. Here we go, everybody. Once again, since we're switching photos, I am going to remind you that this stream is... <sighs> Sponsored by Sony Alpha Cameras. Sony lets me use the awesomest shit. This is one of them. This is the 1635 f2.8. G Master lens. It is a badass lens. It does everything. Actually, you know what? I'm running low on time, so I'm going to have to move on. We'll leave it at a success. I'm going to call it here. This will be the end of the stream. Ladies and gentlemen, 48 minutes. I'm proud of us. The stream's coming back. We're coming back, coming back in a good way. I'm proud to have you guys here. I'm happy you came. This is Kyle signing off. Thank you to Sony for sponsoring the stream, for letting me use the awesomest gear ever. I have some cool stuff coming up. I've ordered an A1. That is right. The A1 will be in my hands at some point soon, and I will be editing the photos on stream. Lots of car stuff coming up. Petter Hermans, are you switching to the A1, or do you already have it? Better, a little bit late, but yes. I am switching to it. The A1 is going to be dope. And with that said, thank you very much. Thank you, Sony. Thank you, you guys. I will see you tomorrow at 5 o'clock, same time, same place. We'll be editing photos from the 70 to 200 f2.8. It's going to be dope. See you guys later. Peace.